Hello all and welcome to this week's housing market report for Florence, South Carolina for the week of May the 13th, 2024. And I am your host, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, Sammy Fryer. And I apologize for not having a show last week on Tuesday at seven o'clock to be released and not giving you a heads up. Frankly, last week was a really busy week and then the rain prohibited a couple of things that I needed to do as well. And so it all kind of got mashed up. Uh, but it was a really busy week, but it's a good thing. And so with no further ado, let's dive right into the data and take a look at this week's market report. And with national mortgage average rates still averaging around 7.5% for this week so far, early in the week, of course, we see that home prices are still increasing. So a pretty steep increase on home prices since the beginning of March, but still over $30,000 as a median less than we were this time last year. Properties with the price decrease is still hovering around 40% as a whole. For Florence, we segment out the market. You can see that the top three segments are all around 40% uh, with the bottom 90 day of our market, closer to the expected average of 30. Now the lower 90 day has dropped significantly in terms of properties with a price decrease. And that's really where I want to camp out for this week's episode and point out. If you go here to the average days on market, you notice that the middle two segments of our market are significantly lower. This portion of our market is significantly hotter than the top or the bottom. And there is a decrease, as you can see here, since February in the frequency of these properties having to be subject to a price decrease. So these homes in this range, as a rule, are selling much more frequently at their asking price in comparison to the other segments of our market. And so if you're buying in the 245000 to $375,000 range, then understand that on average, there's a little bit less wiggle room in terms of your price and strategy when you're compiling an offer. And so I talk all the time with clients about priorities. And the question is, what do you have prioritized? Is it getting the best deal possible or is it securing the home? If it's getting the best deal possible, then you sit down and you put your offer price under the microscope. You draw all the bolts all the way down and you find what is the least but yet most reasonable because I think any offer needs to be reasonable. You know, of course, what is the least most reasonable offer justified that I can submit for this home? And you draw that all the way down and maybe you shave 10, 15, 20, 30, $35,000 off of what you think that home should be priced at. But in this market, the flexibility you have to put that kind of thinking into practice means that it's less likely statistically that you're actually going to get an offer accepted. Somebody else is showing that they're probably going to outbid you. And so if your priority is actually getting the contract for the home, then you need to be considering a very strong offer, even up to asking price. I don't think there's any situations that I'm seeing out there where homes are selling for above asking right now. If, if so, I mean, I've seen it. I have seen it, but not much. And some of that stuff has to do with seller's credits and stuff like that. So I don't think that you have to really be concerned with making an offer above asking. The market's not hot like that. But for people that have priced their home reasonably, then you you may have to really consider if you want to get the contract, to get an offer in, to get it in early, because these are only averaging two weeks on the market and offer the seller's asking price if getting the home is your priority. And so what that would mean, of course, if that's the case, is that those two portions of our market will be much more seller friendly. And that's exactly what our market action index is showing. Look at this spike in the middle two sections of our market. There they are there. And you can see they're both on an increase, particularly with the lower 90 day, which again is homes, uh, 245 to $275,000 in the $200,000 range. Let's put it that way. The 200,000 a significant increase uh going back really to mid-February. 
and pretty much the same thing with $300,000 homes. That's the main thing that I want to point out looking at our market action index is if you're in basically the $200,000, $225,000 to $375,000 range in your house shopping, just know that everything's tighter and everything's moving a little bit faster than the lower and highest end portions of our market right now. And with that being said, I think that's going to be enough for this week. I do apologize we didn't get this in last week, but we did get this one. And so I hope that you find this beneficial. If you do, please like, subscribe, and share the videos on the channel. That helps us out a ton to be able to be available to do videos and produce content like this for the community, for the city, and for those at large that are interested in our area. And likewise, if you would like a complimentary buyer's consultation or a complimentary home valuation, or if you would like to receive these reports for free weekly to your inbox, where you can search markets anywhere in the country for free, then reach out to me. My contact information is down in the description. I would look forward to hearing from y'all. And in the meantime, as always, I wish y'all all the best in your real estate endeavors. Y'all take care and we'll see you on the next one.